morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Cheebits. Today, I have some very good news to tell all of you before I even dive into this live reaction. Many of you for the past couple of weeks have been asking me constantly. I've seen it over and over again, and I, I think I should probably answer these questions that some of you have asked. Chibi, where is the Tokyo Ghoul reviews? Why haven't you been doing them? Well, today, I'm here to kind of explain this before I even get into the live reaction. So, as you know, for the past couple weeks, or the past couple months, actually, I've been experiencing a lot of issues with YouTube, can't upload over 15 minutes, so forth, so on. It's kind of also one of the main reasons why I haven't been able to upload a weekly vlog, because usually my vlogs go up to 50 minutes to an hour. And, as you know, if you have a time set where you can't upload over 15 minutes, that kind of makes it where you can't upload long videos. For instance, obviously Tokyo Ghoul because I usually make very long Tokyo Ghoul videos but that's not just e it either I mean I've also been experiencing a lot of you know personal problems in the background I mean I've talked a little bit about it on Twitter if you follow me on Twitter most likely you've heard something about it but a lot of shit has been going on and I really haven't had the time to really dive into Tokyo Ghoul like I want to I made a couple videos here and there but I haven't been able to dive into it like I always do like where I spend like 24 to 48 hours sometimes just focusing on one chapter and I, I kind of miss that and so I just want to let you all know there will be a review for this chapter chapter 69 there will be a review for it now I'm just gonna let you know obviously the review will not be up before this video because this live reaction it'll be first up the review most likely will be up late Saturday night early morning Sunday or later in the afternoon on Sunday because you know I'm gonna do a lot of you know rereading re Tokyo Ghoul get back up to you know well, how I used to be with Tokyo Ghoul, because in the past, you know, I was constantly rereading the chapters over and over again, and, you know, making sure I analyzed the panels for many, many hours. And so, yeah, I mean, I want to do it right, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I want to do it today, I want to, you know, start, you know, working on the review, expect it either late tonight or sometime tomorrow. So now that I've said that, let's dive into this live reaction. So chapter 69! Yes, I know many are probably already making sex jokes, I'm not even going to get into that, okay? I I'm just going to just throw that out the window, I'm not even going to get into that. So... This chapter, chapter 69, let's begin. So, the uh, chapter's called Administer the Cleanse. Hmm. Okay, Heisei, once more. Revived the... Oh, wait, actually, before I even get into this... I, okay, we have a flashback here. I want to listen to some music. So, I'm uh, going to listen to this English Glassy Sky Tokyo Ghoul cover. And... I just want to link it probably in the description for you guys as well. It's an English cover of Glassy Sky, one of the Tokyo Ghoul opening songs. And I, I, I've been loving this opening. Oh my god, I've listened to it a couple times. It's fucking badass. So I want to listen to it. So yeah, I'm listening to music. That's probably why you're wondering why I have headphones. Oh yeah, Heisei, once more. Revive those colorless memories. Okay. Oh, okay, click on the page. Okay. But I can't stand. Alright, I'm You must stand, Heisei. Foot coming down. If you don't, to me, you will. And then we have the background of V14 from the end of part one. I'm going to assume that stands for death. To me, you will die. And that, that's what I'm assuming RM is trying to say. Oh, yeah, next page. Oh, okay, we're shifting over to Hinami and stuff. Okay, so Hinami's walking. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Second fucking page. Second fucking page. I'll say one thing. I'm going to save it for the review. I will say this. I want you all to go back to the chapter when we found out that Kaneki's mother abused him. Go back to that chapter. Read that panel. And then look at this panel. I also want to mention that he, uh, Toka did the same thing as this right here. FYI. Okay, I'm going to save it for the review. I'm happy, Ani-chan. Why? But why did you come? More than that, I am sad. 
Aren't you just going to do the same thing again? You're an investigator, aren't you? Yo. This is my last job. I <sighs> I want to talk about what... Oh my god. I want to say my brief fucking thoughts, okay? I, I told you I'm all doing a review, but fuck it. I, I, I just gotta say something real quick. This panel right here. What I see here... The fucking slap. Fucking Konaki and his connection to his mother. Abuse. That... You just gotta read the panel. You probably won't understand what I'm getting at. Just read the fucking panel, guys, and you'll see what I'm seeing here. If it's seeing how Konaki just doesn't even think about it. It's just like, this is my last job. He's so fucking suicidal, dude. <sighs> this makes me sad as fuck. It really does. Alright, I will save you, Hinami, and then I will die by Artemis. It is what I thought it was, and... Let me pull up this chapter. I I'm just gonna pull up what that mother said to Kaneki, okay? I, I just want to read it to you, Chivitz. Okay, let me just fucking read this to you, okay? Let me pull it up. I have it bookmarked and all that, because I, I I visit that chapter a lot. Okay, give me a second. It's loading. Okay, so here is what Kaneki's mother said, or what Kaneki says about his mother in that panel he's getting abused. I really was beat a lot by the people I loved most. And you see the mother with a hand up. Now, I'm not going to exactly get into the meaning of this and all that, but... I just will say this. It's sad when, you know, he doesn't even look at this. Like, you know, he's already kind of crazy as it is. Like, he just, he wants to die. And then this happens after, you know, the revelation about his mother. He finally comes to terms with what his mother did. And then he sees this. And he's like, this is my last job. I I will save you, Hinami. And then I will die by Arima's hand. He, he already pretty much says, I'm going to die by Arima. That's all he's looking forward to right now. He's like, I'm just going to die by Arima after saving you. He's already wrote his will, pretty much. <sighs> okay. He will surely come. No one can stop him. Oh, is that Kaneki talking? Well, we have Ayato versus Artemis. Okay. He will surely come. No one can stop him. Fucking Artemis fighting everyone, which is unsurprising. I mean, he's a fucking badass. With just one hand. Oh, yeah, he is blocking with just one fucking hand. My god. Ayato's gonna fucking die. He is a dead man. I've already told you guys this. Ayato is fucking dead. Ugh. Drinking the rest of my coffee. Please forgive me. No, let's see. Even at this distance, why can't I hit him? Damn, dude, Arima just blocking like that is just fucking crazy, dude. He just puts his fucking arm over his back and he's just blocking attacks and shit. That's ridiculous. Obviously, Ayato is just outmatched. You can't fight Arima, man. I mean, Arima is just kicking fucking ass right now. I don't want Ayato to die, but it's probably gonna happen. Oh, there's the Lance coming in. Oh, Aito barely dodges. Oh, here comes fucking Arima for a killing blow. Fucking slices at him. He bows out Arima going to kill him. There's no way. Not. I'm gonna turn this fucking page and he's dead as fuck. I'm gonna turn this fucking page and he's gonna be dead. No, 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 I don't want Ayato to die! Fuck! I at least wanted to meet his father before anything. For fuck's sake. I want to turn the page. Bring it. Bring it on, Nishida. Do your worst. Oh, we, we cut off from the scene. Oh, yay. Okay. The invading ghouls appear to be led by Rabbit. In addition to Rabbit's Ogiri grunts, for whatever reason, the gas mask group from Ward 6 is here as well. 
The escaped ghouls are joining the ranks and wrecking havoc. What should we do? Rabbit's plan is exceedingly sloppy. Well, okay, making fun of fucking Ayato. Forget him as soon as possible. We must take care of Sasaki. This is a part of my body. Allowing these vermin to run amok. My stomach is churning. Or churning. I feel nauseous. My stomach. The prison is a part of my body. My stu. Is this what I think it means? Remember what Atto said? She said, or referred to asked Atto, where's the one I came? And, you know, Atto's like, in your bellies. And he's like, the prison is a part of my body, my stomach. He, he's, he's feeling nauseous in his stomach. So, was Atto really symbolizing that the prison is the, uh, the stomach? Really? If so, that can mean many things. It could mean, uh, the one I king, or whoever's gonna be one I king is imprisoned, or the one I king is gonna be born there. Which could possibly be Kaneki. Okay, I'll, I'll save it for the review. I'll just save all my thoughts and stuff, but damn. This is making me sick. Close the open gates and smoothly and orderly begin to fill the prison with the gas from top to bottom. Oh, it's that fucking gas that nullifies Kagane. Yeah, my Kagane. No need for mercy. Exterminate them all. Oh my god. Left, right, left, right. Kill, kill. Well, looks like uh, Ogeri's already being fucking demolished. Mr. Bonjo, the gas. It seems like it's coming from above. They're gone and done it, huh? Stop fighting for now. Make sure you don't inhale that stuff. Oh, they have some gas masks. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Follow the plan. Go deeper. Got it. Thanks to what happened to Naki, we, we know what inhaling that gas does. Forget about being able to use your Kagane. It weakens your physical strength enough that there's no hope of you winning against any opponent. At some point after we invade, they are certain to release the gas. So what do we do? Just run straight for our escape route. Our big- Whoa, 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 whoa. okay. At some point we evade, invade, they release the gas. Okay, so when they release the gas, their plan is just to run straight for the escape route? Automatically just go to the escape route. Our bigger problem are the doves guarding the prison. What the absolute fuck? Am I seeing this right? Am I fucking seeing this right? What the fuck? That's Ayato in the bottom right corner there. Who the fuck is this asshole? Or whoever, you know, not an asshole, just, uh, you know... A badass, I'm sorry, forgive me. Ba uh, wrong choice of words. Who is this fucking badass that just blocked fucking her? What? What? And he's blocking with his fucking arms. It's not even his fucking cognate. Who the fuck is this? It's not Omo. The, the build is completely different. Who the fuck is this? Okay, please, please. I hopefully I find this out. Okay, someone's jumping in. Artemis dodges. Goes in. Gate three has been open. Gate three open. All available staff on the floor move to intercept. Oh, we're getting a flashback. Okay, kill that. It's part of another organization. One unapproved by Ogeri. Remove it. What's wrong? Quickly kill it. Yo. This scene. This fucking scene. Oh my god, this scene. Quickly kill it. You know what this scene is? I'm gonna have to go look, but you remember the rough drafts? 
to Tokyo Ghoul Route A? You remember there's supposed to be a scene that Kaneki was being forced by Tatra to eat a person? Remember? Eat it. Eat the person and all that. And Kaneki was forced. We're having a similar situation as that shit. Aito's Kagane. Quit dragging your feet. Pisses me off. Aito, don't interfere. It's fucking annoying going through all that trouble. Oh, monochrome ra uh, rainbow. This is Hinami's. Aito. So Aito just saved Hinami, actually, from doing what she had to do. He put on an act. Damn. Oh yeah, so Ayato, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Back there, you covered for me. There really isn't any reason for you to be an Ogiri tree, is there? You're not cut out for this. Eventually, the day will come that you will have to soil your hands. As long as you are an Ogiri, there's no escaping that. Miss Takasuki, she told me you aren't doing anything. She said, "It is your fault that the important, uh, the people important to you are taken away from you. Your fault that you are weak." Oh my god! Oh shit! This fucking panel! Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna say this, Chief. Let's go back to the fucking panel when Kaneki talks to fucking Ure after Shirazu's death. I did it in the video I did on Monday. Remember that little quick video? Like the, the MV kind of, just, just, no, the M, MMV or whatever, whatever the fuck you call it. Just, oh my god, this dialogue is just like what Kaneki said. Oh, shit. Okay, let me continue. Oh, went back a page, okay. And she's right. Mother, brother, that's why this time I'm going to save them, I thought. But it's useless. I'm still as weak as ever. I wish I was strong. You, you're not weak. Just take the mask off already. I already know. Renji, Yomo, Toka? What? Mask 33 is... It's fucking... So Toka is there and reunited with her brother at that. Oh shit! So Renji and Yomo. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Renji and Yomo. Yo. So you're telling me Yomo was the one that fucking was fighting Arima? What? Yo, what the fuck, Yomo? Whoa! Whoa! He fucking straight. Let me back up here. Let me go back to that page. I'm sorry, I got back up and look at that page. He straight up fucking blocks that shit with his arms. Not even a cogane. He blocks Arima. You know, Arima doesn't really hold back. So, fuck, Yomo. I gotta think about your abilities a lot more now. Holy shit. Oh, hey. Why are you here? We said we'd come with you, and you said we couldn't, didn't you? Bonjo told us. We want to save Hinami just as much as you do. Do you have any idea of where we are? At this rate, you'll... I... I'm gonna smack her. When you lose sight of yourself, someone's gotta come by and give your cheek a good slap. Otherwise, you'll never come to your senses. Ayato, you don't need to keep overreaching. You've grown tall enough already. No. That token Ayato moment. 
That's sweet. You grow tall enough already. That's that's beautiful. Rely on others for a change. Stop worrying about me. And go protect Hinami. We've been waiting for this for so long. Been waiting for this for so long. <sighs> Rely on others for a change. Stop worrying about me. And go protect Hinami. Next page. Your body, it's not grown numb, has it? And who do you think I am, you shitty kid? Anichan. The upper levels are filled with guards. How are we going to get out of here? There's a loophole. It's going to be a bit dangerous to open, but as long as as we make it there. What? Associate special special class. Carding around an incarcerated ghoul at a time like this. Whatever are you up to? Oh shit! Whatever are you up? The last smile they wanted to see. Next issue, their face-off was destined. That fucking finale. That fucking cliffhanger. 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 Oh. I swear to God. I swear to God. Really? Furuta versus Kaneki. Furuta versus Kaneki. Really? This soon? This soon? I'll say my thoughts for the review. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.